Food. One of those few things we can all agree is necessary for us to have. And yet, there are many competitions trying to make food better. This is not one of those. It is instead a poor imitation run by fools. So for your entertainment, WBPL 76 humbly presents The Zamak Chef. some while to get our heads out of our collective butts about this uh, and my camera is very not center but uh, oh the hell well um, thank you for everyone who showed interest in uh, the Zamok chef uh, when we uh, initially started it uh, thank you for everyone who posted some posted some pictures um, And we are going to show the results for the Zamok Chef and release the new ingredients. I'm not going to cook with the ingredient today, but I think I'm going to have uh, I think I'm going to have the um, have my cooking be on the day we reveal the winners. Yay! So, let's talk Zamok Chef. Here, down here, uh, we've got some pictures from the BPL. So, this is me, I'll talk about that later. From Zenithar, he made goat cheese and carrot fritters. Those actually look really good. And then it topped with some uh, sour cream and some chives, it looks like. Looking super delicious. Here we got Chris uh, Pakula. He's got his carrot jerky or just fiber. Fiber and salt. Looks like he just breaded and air fried some carrots and was happy with it. Mr. Mad Ducks himself with a scintillating photo of some, uh, of some, uh, what did he say? Honey garlic butter carrots. Um, looking downright sexy right there. Um, and says something about, uh, he did not expect that his wife and 13-year-old son would swarm my plate and eat them all. Uh, from Mr. Commissar Jake, we have carrot fries. They look toasty and a bit better than my sad carrot sticks. Mr. Jaywit has a process for us of some gyoza he used to he used with uh, carrots. There's the filling. There he is folding them, cooking them, cooked, and consuming. And that seems to be everything. Um, after much debate, myself and the judges were... Uh, oh, and then talking about mine. Um... I made, uh, you have creatures with you, Grimos. Very nice. Uh, this is my carrot soup that was most delicious that I think I may make again. And then uh, my attempt at a carrot tart. I want to try a tart again, but I don't necessarily want to try this again. And then I also had my sad attempt at carrot fries. So, 
talking about uh, talking about all the entries. Um, these look almost like potato pancakes in a bit, and I'm sure they're fair and tasty. Um, the jerky looks like it's just straight dehydrated carrots. I don't necessarily, <laughs> I don't necessarily, I'll try it, but I don't necessarily know if I'll like it and eat it again. Mr. Ducks has said very good things about these, um, about these carrots right here. And that's downright pornographic right there. Um, Jake with his fries looking nice and crisp. And Jaywit with his gyoza. Now, we came to some debate about this. And the point was to have carrots be featured front and center. And while the gyoza look so delicious, and I would love to eat every single one of them. <laughs> Thank you, Grimos. Um... I would love to eat every single one of those. We have to have points off because it seems like carrots were just added to the gyoza, not featured as the gyoza, if that makes any sense. Um, so delicious looking and very good. Um, very well done. But after debating with the judges, we feel Mr. Ducks with his honey garlic carrots, is the ja is the Zamok chef of carrots. So well done, Mister uh, Mister Mad Ducks. You are the Zamok chef of carrots, and we uh, we hope you continue making delicious uh, carrot things, because carrots are very good. So with all of that out of the way. What is going to be the ingredient for the next Zamok chef? Well, I have just the ingredients right here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that the people of the WBPL bring to you your next Zamok ingredient, pumpkin. So not just like pumpkin pie can, but any kind of pumpkin. I think we can extend this a little bit if you're having trouble finding pumpkins into butternut squash. Um, uh, Mr. Ducks, you are the Zamok chef of carrots. Your carrots look so delicious. <laughs> how did that hot, how did the hot dog carrot turn out? <laughs> did you ever do that? <laughs> so, the Zamok ingredient is pumpkin. Pumpkin pie, roasted pumpkin, pumpkin soup, pumpkin seeds, whatever you want. We are going to be happening with pumpkin. And with that out of the way, <laughs> the era of the pumpkin spice latte is upon us with the Zamok shenanigans out of the way. Um, I am going to redeem myself a water break. Yes, I just said you can, you can use pump butternut squash in place of pumpkin. So this is a new kind of thing that my doctor 
recommended I do. Get a drink more water. So I got a giant motivational gallon jug that says, hey, just keep chugging. I started this at like 8 and I'm down to 4 p.m. Um, and it's only 1 o'clock. So I am going to drink a bit. Because hydration is important. What's up with pumpkins in your house? Do you guys just not like pumpkin? All right. Speaking of also gigantic um, drinking vessels, while I was shopping for ingredients, I also came upon Powliner. Tis not only the season of pumpkins, tis also the season of Oktoberfest. So I will be responsible and drink this and lots of water while I cook. I found it extremely hilarious at the store though, because next to the display was a moss with a 32 ounce can of Powliner in it. Um, yes, uh, bully. I've got various flavor enhancers, uh, low calorie, sugar-free flavor enhancers. I just fill it up with water, dump one in, and uh, there I go. That is a bit too much head on that beer. I poured this shittily. Come on. Alrighty. Let's get you down. I mean, it's sticking around too. That's a much respect on the pal and her brewers. But I want to get all of the beer in the glass. That's because I just poured it right down the middle. Ah! <laughs> That's all just straight carbon dioxide. This is a very improperly poured Oktoberfest beer the beer police would be very upset with me. There are actually people that go around and measure heads of beer. Everything has to be right at this little divot, or at least the beer has to be at that divot because you paid for a liter of beer you get a liter of beer. I'm a couple ounces off, but I'm going to let that settle down. I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to get started with this garlic chicken. to make some garlic chicken today. So I'm going to start with the marinade, which is a tablespoon of olive oil. A 
tablespoon of hot sauce and half a cup of soy sauce. Uh, garlic chicken, I'm going to be getting started on being a rogue corn guard collecting dirt on his former bosses. <laughs> um, I am using Slap Your Mama hot sauce. Gonna just splash a little bit of water on here. There we are. And put a little bit of pepper in there. And I think we're gonna be good to go. So I'm going to get this filled with some shimkin. Delicious shimkin. Yes, it is a hot sauce and a spice mix. It is described as, um, where is it? Um, so the, uh, the people that made this say that Today, legend has it that every time a mama uses it, she receives a loving slap on the back and a kiss on the cheek for another great tasting dish. Um, <laughs> it is delicious. Okay, looks like my beer has settled down. Um, so, prost, my friends. And knife. So I have roughly a pound and a half of chicken here that I will be cutting into strips. Uh, once again, today's recipe is brought to you by Mr. Mad Ducks. Um, I had a lot of chicken, and I asked, hello, does anyone have any chicken recipes? And Ducks was just like, here, eat. So, thank you, Mr. Ducks, for a relatively simple looking recipe. The uh, w, the BPL cookbook is probably wonderful due to how varied it is. Oh yes, we have Caterham the Meat Master. We have myself, the amateur personality. We have Mr. Ducks, the eater of Cajun, uh, of Cajun creations, um, and everyone else has very good tastes and creations. It is a very cool group of people. And also just you just really like cooking. Just trying to cook it, cut it along the muscle fiber. But 
but I have plans for upcoming uh, upcoming streams. I will be making Jaeger schnitzel shortly. Um, I mean, tis the season of Oktoberfest. Okay, so, with all of that, gonna mix it up all nice. I'm going to put this in the fridge for a while. And wash my hands. Because chicken, especially uncooked chicken, is a very bad health hazard. Let no one say, oh, I'm going to serve you rare chicken. There's no. It, there can be such things as rare chicken, but I highly doubt your buddy at home knows how to make rare chicken properly, if at all. Some water. I'm just gonna leave that top off. Did you tell them why I recommended the recipe I sent you? Uh, no, you didn't. I, I didn't, and I don't think I remember why. Ugh. I know I asked for a recipe. Yes, it does. So I need a skillet. That is a walk. There we go. So what does the recipe say? potatoes and salted water for eight minutes. Okay, guess I didn't read that part. Do I need? It doesn't say. The BPL has some good cooks, also the BPL. Yes. Yes. You've discovered our secret. Soylent Green, yes, a new Soylent Green recipe today. Um, scissors. And let's get those boiling. While these are getting boiling, over a skillet with medium 
high heat makes one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Butter. Butter makes everything better. One tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. Uh, what's up, Digi? The UN, yes, UNC, they will make cursed things sometimes greatly cursed too. Italian Sodi Pop. Someone tried, succeeded, and then failed to make carbonated spaghetti. I mean, it also makes meat dishes unkosher, but not everyone has to worry about that. Also, carrot hot dogs. <laughs> My oven is singing at me because the rest of the chicken I used to make myself other chicken for later in the week. I'm going to try and make a uh, chicken salad and eat that at work, trying to be healthy. So that's what that was. Legally Edible is a very broad statement there. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ducks. Now, it strikes me. Should I have cut these potatoes beforehand? Yes, I should have cut these potatoes beforehand. So, uh, I'm going to cut these potatoes. Um, how hot is the water? Not. Am I literally just cutting carrots in half with scissors? Yes, yes I am. Because that is the way things go when you don't read instructions. Need to be careful about this. Or else I will summon a pumpkin who will say, Doctor, why do you still have your fingers? An angry pumpkin. Also, you can make a carrot hot dog, possibly not awful, but it's like a 45-step uh, um, process. My usual Saturday Pathfinder game was canceled this week, so I get to watch the Hunchback video live. Yay!
This is actually pretty funny. Like, this is actually kind of funny. They're little baby potatoes and I'm just cutting them in half. done uh. what the fuck is free corn Thursday <laughs> Ether hunts. Thank you for the 69 bits. I, that honestly scared the shit out of me. It has been forever since I've heard an alert. And I just didn't know what was going on. got maybe two dozen more potatoes probably should have been showing you guys this the entire time <laughs> Don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it. It was funny. I had a good laugh. I think this is the first time I've ever used my cooking uh, scissors to actually, like, cut something. It's actually quite the process. It's also a nutcracker. Unamas. All right, let's get the water boiling. Set those aside uh, for a little bit because I think the parboil requires them to be put into boiling water. So uh, let's watch a pot boil. Ah, and read the recipe. Um, okay. Cook potatoes for four minutes. Okay. Two more tablespoons of butter. 
Got the garlic and red pepper. Okay, so let's get the rest of this all set up. Um, yeah, that, that'll be enough butter. Ooh, excuse me. Um, we need to get... Garlic, red pepper, and uh, bean marinade. Okay. It says five cloves of garlic, some herbs, some cracked pepper, red chili flakes. All right, we're gonna need a little bit of a uh, cutting board. But I've got it. Uh, food blueprints, yes. Sir, I need garlic. How many cloves? Five, ha, you mean eight. Two, three, four, five, six. No, I meant six. Yes, many. That is 100% how much garlic you should use. Yes, many garlic. Gotta be careful with this knife. It's small, and I don't always know which blade is up. Come on. Get out of the paper. Come. Stupid, little, tedious mother. Here we go. Uh, so, show of hands, how many people have been playing Baldur's Gate? I know for, uh, I for one am one of them. And it is ridiculously fun. I am not very far at the fuck all, but it is a very interesting experience. It's very... D and D. It is a very good video game adaptation of D and D. Mrs. Samurai said I'm not allowed to buy it until I can buy her my time at uh, Sardonk. <laughs> so, uh, hey, I guess you do have to, uh, I guess you have to get her that, uh, that game.
I have yet to play a video game made in this or the last decade. Yeah, I get that. Where's my garlic press? Right here. And there goes my garlic press. Need my knife back. Okay. You're going to smoosh some garlic. We were supposed to buy it together, but then it went on sale for PC during Steam Summerfest. <laughs> Pokemon and Zelda, and that's because I was gifted a Switch, and that and that's all I play on it. Uh, Mrs. Ducks wants us to play Baldur's Gate 3 together, but that means that I will have to buy two copies, and that requires a lot of monies that we simply don't have. Ooh. That is very true. But... That would be a very fun experience because the multiplayer in Baldur's Gate is very, very good. Okay. Have I successfully defeated the garlic? Yes, yes I have. Garlic is defeated. Now, the paper. Um, so, garlic, teaspoon thyme, teaspoon rosemary, teaspoon oregano. Thyme, rosemary, and oregano. Will you please boil? Someday, right here. I need to get another set of measuring spoons. I love rosemary. It's like a pine needle you can eat. cooking I am cooking garlic chick uh, garlic butter chicken and here's me chopping rosemary. to release all of that pine needle flavor. I just hit myself in the balls with an iPhone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir, I require some black pants. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you so much. Uh, also, I vow that in time I will find, create a good jalapeno cornbread recipe and send it to you. Please do. I need to make it. Uh, Yuri, an Armored Core 6, is doing the same thing again. A smaller studio making a game with no micro frames or massive day one patches. Ah... Uh, 
It's a thing. Here we go. How much? That doesn't go there. Red pepper do I need? Uh, it says optional and does not list an amount. So uh, I guess we're going with uh, that many. Okay, so I believe everything is ready for this to boil. Yes, yes, it is waiting for that to boil. Uh, how much red pepper? Yes, red pepper. Uh, it's just hard, like hunchy dueling an atlas and winning hard. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 somewhat attacked the paradigm of modern games. They said the game isn't finished, still sold it, and even used game experience to, per to perfect the first two acts of the game. Everyone raves about those. Third act is still bugged like you would see in a normal modern game. Yeah. And they're going to fix it. I, I trust them. All right, let's add these potatoes. It, it's steaming. I'll boil them for a bit longer. All right. There you go. Isn't it fun, day one? Yes, that's kind of... Kind of a big uh, difference point between the two. It's like day one patches. Oh God, day one patches. And then Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, everyone is going to need a couple of uh, like a week or two before they get to the points we got to concern ourselves about. That's a lovely bunch of water that I just ingested. This is a lovely bunch of alcohol that I will also ingest. Drink, drink responsibly, folks. Don't play around with shit. You make sure there are no bugs in the having sex process, Larian, probably. <laughs> they had... Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff going on with that game that I find quite hilarious. I am going to... Enlarge this and leave for a second because I have to use the restroom.
And we're back. Uh, let's try and speed run. Watch the food chat. Don't let it burn. Once made a Magic the Gathering set about drinking. Never actually play tested it though. Purdy. <laughs> so the standard amount of play testing for Magic set. Uh, that one is one of the most ridiculous speed run concepts I have ever seen so far. Also, cooking pop up. Stir the pot with a touch screen. <laughs> um, no, um, sex percent has been a thing in any game that lets you have sex. Um, I know Fallout 1 and 2, or there's one of them where they're making a hollow, or, or, or they're making a hollow vid. Uh, with an adult actress and one of the speedrun categories is sex percent and it's all about just getting there as fast as possible. <laughs> um, one thing I did absolutely love about Baldur's Gate 3 though is they get that People who play D and D are absolute unrepentant perverts. It's it's glorious. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not a new concept. Okay. Are these quite finished? No, no, they are not. So we are just going to uh, walk around. Tex! Han Chi! Han Chi! Han Chi! Uh, oh, Tex, I made your. Uh, I made the, uh, the, the fried chicken breasts with the, um, with the crushed up, uh, pork rinds on it. It was very good. It was a very good thing. Um, probably a little too, uh, out there and crazy with the, with, with, all of the cross frying, but it was very fucking good. No, yeah, uh, coyote. It was, I, I just crushed up, pounded, pulverized some pork rinds, coated my chicken in it, pan fried it, mwah. Very good. Very, very good. Tex, hope you... Yes. Here is to... Uh, here is to Mr. Tex. And to Mr. Mike. And all of the people that have worked on that video. Please, stay sane. Don't run yourself ragged. Keep bringing the funny shit. Cheers, guys. Mmm. And all of us are going to sit down and have a lesson in mechanized warfare tomorrow. Oh, joy of joys. It is going to be most amusing. So I'm just waiting for all of this uh, potato shenanigans to actually boil. What Doc said, stay healthy and rested. Tex or at least as healthy and rested as you can be. Yep. <laughs> because a healthy and rested Tex makes more videos. Or it's just, <laughs> we shall see, back to work. Have a good day at work, Tex. 
<laughs> Don't make us force you to go on another vacation, Tex. We will make you do it. We did it once before. Don't make us threaten you with a good time. <laughs> And Mr. Ducks, I will see you in the eventualities. Guess who has to make a... Uh... <laughs> Toss that recipe my way. Toss that recipe my way. I want to make them. I need to make them. Oh, is, uh, is Mrs. Ducks also watching Mr. Ducks and telling you that uh, they need to be made? Hello, Mrs. Ducks. Uh, please enjoy the carrots. You're welcome. <laughs> Everyone say hello to Mrs. Ducks. <laughs> and the 13-year-old duckling is actively asking the parentals to make him vegetables. Let this show you people how powerful those carrots were. All right, we are approaching boiling. I'm watching this pot boil. Shame the Hunchback cocktail is a Venture Brothers docktail and endlessly cursed. <laughs> Do we know what fuels the mad part of Mad Ducks? Uh, Cajun cooking. and an endless supply of ideas. <laughs> dot, 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 you're not wrong. <laughs> Quickly, ducks, before you have to go shopping, what is the normal thought you are having now? because I'm sure it's a good thought. Who says I have an idea right now? Go get the carrots of tossing carrots in oil and slow cooking them on the smoked carrots, smoked carrots, ladies and gentlemen, very good. Go do that, Mr. Ducks. What, like toss it in the smoker? Yeah, like, that's a very delicious idea. Oh, like putting a propane tank on your car and putting it, attaching it to a grill so you can have a grilled burger when you get to your destination. I think we just took the logistics of that and of putting the grill in the car a bit far. 
a generator and a roaster so I could make <laughs> dressing while I drive to the meetup. Brisket carrots. Very good. <laughs> Go get the carrots, mad ducks. I, f I feel like the duck, uh, I feel like the duck flock is getting, uh, is getting antsy. Uh, no, you have not missed out on most of the cooking. Most of the cooking has not happened yet. Uh, what has happened was I made a sauce. I cut some, I, I, I cut up some chicken breasts. I made a spice mix. Cut up some carrots, started them boiling, and I need them to boil for a little bit longer. <laughs> Sounds like a way to re have a repeat of the cop pulling your car over full of sausages. <laughs> Wash down that water, some beer. No, I am really digging this jug. I really am. I'm really, really digging this jug. I don't really have a headache now, so I'm just like, yeah. I needed more water in my diet. Guys, if you ever have a headache, pop an ibuprofen, drink two glasses of water. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I just want it to roll a little bit. I may or may not have biscuits in the oven because I yield. Not enough water is 50% of my headaches. Another 20% is not ventilating my rooms enough. That is very good. Because I got hungry watching cooking. <laughs> uh, yes, I have made the digi eat. Uh, Digi, are you excited for Wilds of Eldraine? Because, uh, that set looks funny. And if you have a headache from drinking a little too much, do not take acetaminophen. It is a blood thinner, right? Or something like that, right? I've had burgers for six meals in a row, so I'm not hungry. I just wanted to roll a little bit. Oh, drinking a little too much. To fix this drinking, drink this. Homemade burgers with slow baked onions. Oh, shit! A carrot theme made Google, made me go Google giant carrots. I am not disappointed. <laughs> what are giant carrots called? Imperator carrots. Holy shit! Um, no, yes, the food theme, I think, is going to go really well with the Hobbit food theme. I think it's going to be really funny. Um, oh, Digi. We're going to, uh, we're going to go back to Lorwyn, apparently. Uh, 
for all of you though for all of you who don't know the next magic set is uh a fairy tale setting that is what if the brothers grim but grimdark um and Lorwyn is what if the brothers grim but whimsy Yes, Zira, Zirg. The Brothers Grimdark. For what it's worth, my go-to anti-headache drink uh, before bed after a heavy night of drinking is a homemade Indian... Lassi? I mean, just read the originals. Hell, right? Grim. So the next set is about running around in tunnels under Portland. <laughs> um, no, uh, this Sir Ginger character that Digi and I were talking about um, is a gingerbread woman who is very angry about her husband getting eaten her gingerbread man husband getting eaten so she is on an all-out war it's hilarious second i saw the animals playing i was just like well lorwin is super dead all it has is that no humans playing only for lorwin to be announced like 15 minutes later <laughs> Plus, not all the fairy tales are for kids. I think that's a 20th century idea. Yeah. Like. It's crazy. All right. Um, let me see. Ah. I'm going to give it like three minutes. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm getting very anxious. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Okay. They're almost ready. I once made a pretty good Narset deck. I've not done much magic since. <laughs> um, at the meetup, Headsman, uh, Headsman Stuka, uh, Destructo, and I claim a corner of Nova's house, and we just play cards. We go to, uh, we, we've gone to uh, pretty much every game shop in um in in a location redacted and looked for cards bought cards bought various accessories we are <laughs> unrepentant nerds okay it's rolling yay gonna give it a minute Yes, a minute. And off. Come on. Okay, there you go. Boom. Um, yay! I really like the idea of I declare attackers. I shall now cast a fuck ton of instants uh, to buff the ever living hell out of my minions. Yes, it's. Super funny. Mm. Paliner, Paliner is one of the Munich, the original Munich breweries. Oddly enough, uh, they were stan sanitized during the reign of Louis the Fourteenth. Uh, it was because the French nobility were turning them into something more appropriate for Disney 
that the Brothers Grimm did their work in the early 1800s. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Palliner is one of the big Munich breweries. There's Palliner, there's Hocker, uh, there's Hocker Shore, which is a conglomerate of Hocker and Shore. There's Lovenbrau, um, Augesteiner, and Hofbrau. Um, I have not had, I have not had the chance to have Lovenbrau, but I have had Hakashore. Um, I have had Hakashore, uh, Hofbrau, Pauliner, and Augesteiner. Did I already say Augesteiner? Augesteiner, Hockershaw, Palliner, and Hofbrau. Yes, I have not had Lovenbrau. Spotten. Is Spotten another? I don't. I, I've never had it pronounced. Spotten. Spotten is very good. Is Pot? Is Spotten another Munich brewery? I can't remember. All right. These potatoes are good. I'm gonna ask the German about German shit. Ah, hot water is hot. Okay, glass is steamed up. All right, we are going to get this cooked. Spotten often gets mixed with Hawker Shore. Um, what is the shore? part of Hawker, because I know Hawker is axe. Spotten is spade. What is shore? I can't remember. Because the Hawker shore emblem is the two tools crossed. Powell in our Yes, I was missing an A. Me asking the tired German what the German things are. Just heating up my oil and melting my butter. You know, just normal cooking things. All right, so I have to Medium high heat makes one of them. Da, da, da. Cook potatoes for four minutes. Stir and cook for additional four minutes. Just say eight minutes. Christ. need a bigger portable hot plate. Transfer them to a plate and set aside. All right. No 
we'll get a plate at the ready. Close, damn you. Is that from... I guess so. All right, oh, hey look, the butter has melted. Hawker was the name of one side of the family and Shore was the what was from the other. Um I know that uh, no, I, I'm just like their family emblems are tools, right? And the tools are crossed. Okay. I just can't remember what the other tool of the Hawker Shore emblem is. Nope. Oh. Are you significantly hot? I'm going to say you are significantly off. Uh, pickaxes on one side and the other you got the shepherd's staff. Okay, so I was just fucking wrong. I swear to God, there's one that's an axe. Yeah, the shepherd staff is used by Alga Steiner uh, because it's like an Augustus monk or something. Uh, I'm looking at Paliner and he looks very monkey. I'm sorry. I try and know things, but I just very much enjoy drinking them. Yes, yes, because Hawker is, you hack at it, right? You hack at something. Hawker, hatchet. Right? <laughs> uh, the discussions we have while I am cooking. I just never drank this stuff because I became a beer snob in Bavaria. Of all the places to become a beer snob, you became a beer snob in Bavaria. Well done. So yes, as a beer snob, what is your opinion on the uh, uh, what is your opinion on Lovenbrow? Because I have never had it. I want to try it. It was like yeah, I know there's more tents than just those at um, at Oktoberfest, but. Those are just all the ones that us silly Americans hear of. Um, no, uh, when my dad was stationed in Italy, he went, um, he went to Munich Oktoberfest and he and his buddies got a table at the Lovenbrau tent. And here in America, Lovenbrau is the one that I have not had yet. And I really want to try it. I also really want to go to Oktoberfest sometime. It seems a lot of fun. 
Not just for the drinking. Yeah, beer's not for everyone. Alcohol's not for everyone. Guys, if you don't want to drink, don't force anyone to drink you. Do not take me drinking as an endorsement that you need to drink. If you don't want to drink, that's okay. Just tell them you don't want to drink. It's an okay beer. Okay. Basically just frying potatoes right now. Watching Drunk Fools is a pleasant way of spending an evening. Watch grown men regress into toddlers. Strong and tasteless like vodka. Uh, I mean, you do you. Don't think you have to drink. Alrighty. Has it been about eight minutes since I've put these on? No, I'm gonna cook these a bit longer. And I'm gonna drink some more. Water, that is. Zerg, there you go. Ah. I'm almost done with this and it's not even 8 p.m. I should have used the walk. Nah. This is funny. I'm central standard time. I am minus one text time. It is currently 2.18 in the p.m. Uh, okay. What do you got? You've got Arcobrow, um, a check. You have Budweiser. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Falter. Okay. I have no idea what these are, but it. <laughs> Uh, being in the, the be, living in the town that I live in, that you are drinking Budweiser.
Uh, I am at home. German, uh, uh, or, or Digi. I am at home. My house is in central time. Text time is Eastern Standard American time. Uh, always thought text lived central. No, text lives eastern. Text time is eastern time. No, I think you're mountain time. Digi. Because if you're mountain time, it's one o'clock for you, right? All right, are these potatoes particularly done? That's 100% it, German. It's just like, I like beer. I don't like recovering from beer. up later. Alrighty. Put that there. All the potatoes. Put the butter on. Melt the butter. Cook the chicken. Website say the website says a thing. Okay, so we are gonna cook the chicken on each side for about a minute. mixed to it. Keeping the marinade. This looks like salmon. I may have made a bit too much chicken. Oh, well. Adding in. Yeah. 
the herbs. No such thing as too much chicken if it can freeze. <laughs> Okay, attempting to flip chicken. Make sure that that strip is completely cooked. Because as we said before, we don't want any raw chicken. Okay, this actually smells very fucking good. taping on tablet. <laughs> cook for a little bit. Oh. That looks really good. All right, 
let's add in the extra marinade. Let this cook for a little bit. I gotta run to the bathroom again. And we're back. Ah, first time chat. Uh, good color on the chicken. Thank you. Welcome to the WBPL. Uh, we do lots of variety content. Most of it video games. What video games? Yes. Um... For how much we make of the stuff, you'd think we'd use more beer in our food, but no, mostly just for a dark sauce at the restaurant. Um, ooh, spicy. I'm gonna try and let this sauce kind of cook down. Yes, Volantok. Um, the what you call the uh, the Hunchback video will be releasing tomorrow. Yes, uh, come join the auxiliary, and you can live watch it with other people. Um, it's gonna be great. Unfortunately, I will be at work, but I will watch it right afterwards. All right, adding the potatoes back in. No, um, just got a little bit of a spice in me. The spice has affected me. This is annoying me. to have some water. As long 
long as your eyes don't glow blue, yeah, I should be fine. This smell is maddening. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna leave that for a little bit. Plus the kind. <laughs> Okay, I quite think this is good. Oh, get off of there. Let's serve up some of this. go. Let's add a bit more potato. Now I really did wish I made some uh, some broccoli to go with this and I will on my own time. But for now comes the taste test portion of the stream. And would you look at this. This is perfectly cooked chicken with a nice marinade. I wish I, next time I do this, I'm going to uh, let it marinade for longer. Mm. good. Mm. Oh man. So the potatoes are just really good little nuggets of garlic and spice. Mm. And the chicken is very good flavor. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that is very good. Maybe a little heavy on the spice, but that's me. Um, potatoes could be crispier, but I'll figure that out. But they are soft, 
delicious and cooked all the way through. The butter is just a very good vector of picking up every other flavor. Oh, that is good. Oh, potato down. Get in my mouth. Shave yourself. Mmm. Mmm. Could have used without that second scoop of red pepper. But yes. Mm. Oh, this is most delicious. They're not bad soft, uh, Volan. They're not bad soft. It's just kind of wish they were a little crispy, but this is trying out a, uh, this is trying out a recipe for the first time. Not everything's going to go quite according to plan. But at the end result, everything is delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, the, no, the, the these potatoes are cooked. They're just not crispy. I also put it to, this is a really shitty hot plate and a really big uh, skillet. That is what I was uh, trying to do. Um, Guys, this is so delicious. All right. I'm going to finish this up. And I'm going to clean up my kitchen. And I'm going to play some video games on my own time. Finish my, uh, my water and my beer. So, honey garlic chicken. Not honey garlic, butter garlic chicken. Butter garlic chicken and potatoes. A plus recipe. Very good. Very delicious. I need to eat more. Mmm. It is so good, Mad Ducks. It is very good. Mmm. It is very good chicken and potatoes. All right. Whew. So, I'm going to finish this up. Uh, is there a link to the recipe? Yes. Um, let me grab it. Copy, paste, there you go. Mad Ducks, it is most delicious. Uh, please make those carrots for the duck, for the duck family uh, before they uh, rise up in revolt. Yes, yes, this is the recipe you sent me yesterday. Um, so, chicken, good, very good. Very amazing. I'm going to make it again. Um, so, closing statements. Delicious food. Everyone who remembers the Zamok Chef, our first episode, our first, uh, excuse me, our first ingredient 
was carrots. Mr. Ducks made honey garlic carrots, which just me saying it has summoned the the uh, the Mrs. Duck and the Little Duck, who demanded more. So, Mr. Ducks is the iron is the Zamok chef of carrots. This go arounds ingredient is pumpkin. Pumpkin pie mix, whole pumpkins, whatever you want. You are allowed to substitute for butternut squash. Should you wish, butternut squash is acceptable. I will soon be making my own recipe when I return from my business trip. And I will also make Jaeger schnitzel around that same time because it is Jaeger schnitzel. Do whatever you want to do with the, uh, with the pumpkin, man, as long as it's edible and good to eat. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please avail yourself of the auxiliary if you are new. Great group of people. The Hunchback is premiering tomorrow, so tune in to the BPL YouTube channel. Check it out. We're going to have so much fun. So, one last final message. Y'all been good. This has been Doctor Who's the Chef cooking you up some delicious food. Prost, my friends.